playing dual lane, and he protects Fanix, secures Fanix farm, whether it's the Abaddon, the uh, Warlock in this case, mm -hmm. a Lich. Prepare but if you run a dual lane against your opponent, you have a Brood, Brood will wreck the top dual lane. Uh, Venge Jug is okay-ish, and Venge has already got like the anti-Brood kit with the sentries and dust, but it's still a rough lane. It definitely is. You can't actually kill Brood, really. I, Brood's movement speed is just... God, is too Gold Black likes Abaddon so much, his effigy is actually Abaddon. I, I, I don't see Abaddon effigies very often. That is some serious love. My shield artists. up on you. My shield up on you. See? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Okay, so how are these lanes looking here? You got some good luck, have fun there from Habos. Looks like he's still in love. I like that. Radiant side, we've got Team Secret. It'll be S4 on the Axe and Kuroki on the line. Looks like they're the two slated for the bottom lane. That puts Puppy on the Chen in battle. the Radiant Jungle. And then we've got some cores here. RTZ, he's on the Shadow Fiend with that Arcana. And off lane, it will be Zai on the Brood. Rocking some Brood cosmetics here. The rare Spiderlings. Okay, watch out, gods. Right. She's in style. Well, watch out for her boss. He sure loves his... Slash me, he's on the juggernaut. <laughs> Slash me, looking for that top bounty room. We'll uh, wait for second round introduction. Zangs on the bench, full spirits shortly behind him, but top bounty room looks to be going away the secret. And begins. yep, our tour gonna be off to a nice early start. With that. So, rest of Navi, uh, we're gonna see. Uh, well, the Venge right. being played by Vengscore. In the mid lane, it's going to be Dendi, of course, playing one of his kind of signature heroes, the Puck. In the off lane, Goblek on the Abaddon, and Funnick going to be playing the Night Stalk, having already taken a bit of damage around that bottom rune kerfuffle. Okay, and initial runes. All right, one to Arteezy and one to Funnick. So pretty even spread out of the gate. Initial wards coming down in the bottom. We'll see uh, an Observer in the other side of the tree line. And in the mid, going right back there, we'll see a nice lane ward for Arteezy. So getting some good vision on Dendi in the mid. Will probably not be caught unaware. Dyer using their second Observer for that top rune. So a little bit of rune control also. Yeah. So as far as lanes go, SF first path, this is... I'd say even, like, Essif does really well here, especially already he's getting off uh, some good souls up. He did go for the level 1 raise, and Archer has actually talked about this on his stream, like, why does he do this? And it's always about securing that, like, couple of early CS. Yeah, you need yeah. to secure that bottle ASAP. Yeah, get your bottle ASAP. You can make up for your souls with your raises later on. So it's it's kind of, it guarantees you farm, whereas if you go for the Necromancy and you don't get souls in, like, the first two creep waves, suddenly you, you're you really screwed. You can try and play catch up using raises later, but you want to get the bottle as fast as possible. Yeah, and it can also be a big risk as well. If they rotate on you before you have that bottle, if you get poked a little bit, it's, it's a bit of an unnecessary risk. Down bottom, go black and fun. And can move into the jungle here just to intercept the pull from Kuroki. Looks like Puppy will have a pretty easy time in the jungle out of the gate. Nothing blocking him. Navi did not invade, block any of his camps. So I would expect this Chen to be active perhaps sooner rather than later depending on what creeps he's able to find. Already cleared out a set of mud golems and very close to level 3. So the top lane Brood doing pretty decently here. 4 CS, starting to accumulate a couple of spider wings. And once you get a, a big spider arm, you've got to be very careful. That's uh, a lot of money you can feed away there. Yeah. And the other thing is Brood used the sentry to de-ward and then Navi de-warded like anti-sentry to sentry, <laughs> which ends up Navi still the sentry in lane, but it's a second sentry being forced out and that means it's going to expire soon. And then Brood with two sentries down, either Vengs goes to buy more sentries as a Venge, or Brutus is just gonna have a, like walk all over this top lane. And he also knows where that second sentry is, which yeah. is really important. Knowing before you get caught off guard is almost as important as killing it, I think. They just have no kill potential. Like Vayne score going for sentries and dust, but what's the plan to kill a brood who's got the 413 movement speed already? Get another point or two in web and you're up to like 450 move speed. Like Juggernaut spin is not you're not getting killed until just level six. And I don't know if you can survive this lane till then. Yeah, Zai is doing very well though. 7 CS now, halfway through level 3. This is pretty damn good for the offlaner. Mm, somewhat comparable to that bottom lane. Warlock support, as you mentioned, a little lackluster, and it's not really doing much to secure farm for Funic. He's on point with the solo brood right now, which is obviously a victory for Secret. With the Chen in the jungle, you should expect them to have a little gold experience edge, at least in the initial part of this lane. Yeah. Stage. So... I uh, haven't seen Chen move out of the jungle just yet. Puppy just kind of happy to get his farm and levels early on. And I wonder when we'll see the first smoke rotation from Puppy. He hasn't picked one up yet. It's hard to smoke gang mid. Unless Dendi uses it all offensively to try and farm or harass, you're not looking at it. I feel like the Warlock is the easy target, though. He's in the off lane. Yeah. Night Stalker can't really do mm, too much lane. to keep him alive. Oh, Zai, he gets dusted, but can they actually chase him down? Doesn't have the movement speed to the webs. Have a 
Dive in here. Zai moves into the trees, looking to fog, going for the jukes, trying to eat a path out of the trees, but Venge first is there to blood. intercept. Van score with good footwork. Blocks him in, and Fost will secure the first blood. Nicely played by Navi. Van score knowing exactly where he wanted to go and stops the retreat. Yeah. Nicely played by Navi, slightly misplayed by Zai as well. Like, didn't have a second web and got caught in a position where I, he could have maybe run upwards and just used it. He had the superior movement speed, so he even dusted up. I think he just outruns the boss, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, didn't have a web to hide it. And even when you're dusted, you can still run over the trees. So you can still if fog to yeah. go on your web something. So despite being revealed, you can still kind of fog um, to some degree. Easy triple raise. Oh, mama. Walk into that one. And Shendi will secure the room, but Artizi happily will take the kill. Yes, yes, he'll, he'll take it. He'll take it. He'll be careful. Another triple raise. The double, they only got mine for the double raise. But that is enough. There's a hex there from Kuro and an earth spike. It's plenty. Now a set of kills in the mid, not quite the double for Artur, but two to one is secret strike on back, Dyer's and all of a sudden Swagger Fiend attack. here, looking pretty strong. I think the laning stage going really well for secret in general. Like the bottom lane, finding is getting CS, well not much CS compared to S4, and that's in that two like two v two setup in a lot of ways. And well, here we go. First smoke from Puppy will come right around the five minute mark. He's got Kuro with him. Where can they go? Venge in the jungle. They don't have vision, so they could roll the dice and just try to venture about, or they could go for the jug. Uh, looks like they might actually luck into the Venge. Radiant do have an Observer Ward down there. They see the Venge on the way, but they don't care. They're going right for Havost. Blade Fury away, and they will actually dive it. Nope, okay. They double back after the Shockwave yeah. flies. Kuro's trying to come around from the tree line to get the Insta Hex off, but just couldn't quite get in range before the spin, so. Yep. Luckily for Navi, they don't give up that kill. If Havos dies there, that they lose a lot of control over this top lane. The one lane which is going decently well for them. There's still a level 5 Brew, who has his Soaring Bass. He can still do a lot of damage here, so... Still not easy for them. And this big Spidling army right now is possibly just a straight-up death Venge. Venge does have boots, but I don't really see a way out. Yeah, just not without TPs. To poke. More spiders coming through. The Chen creeps as well. Puppy spin. will eat the stun. Can Puppy actually live here though? Dust comes out. They get the kill on Venge. Puppy taking a lot of damage, but Havos falls first. Puppy with just a handful of hit points to spare. Oh, around. Funning is dead as well. Oh, my oh. gosh. That mana drain from Kuro. Havos had 105 mana after that mana drain. Couldn't get up the blade three, which would have secured the kill. Kept him alive and maybe even led to another kill, but a three for nil oh, in the top. And now Dyer's five to top one. Top that whole time, Arteezy just farming away in the mid. That's a 1300, no, 1400 net worth trade already in only six minutes. And they had the lead because Chen was in the jungle already. That's 3000 golden experience. Well. Secret off to the races here. And even up top, Havost stunned up line, only level five. But Dyer's in comes Zai, they get the kill again on Havost. I, it's just so tough. He comes back to the top lane. Even if they don't get like the, even if he gets to the blade three, they can Dyer's chase him down. Brood, 470 fallen. movements speed inside the web with a huge spiraling army. Good lane. Mm -hmm. Coil on to Arteezy. Funix there. A lot of follow up damage. TP's on the way in. Artor will live for now. Funix wants to find the kill with the tower. Chopping him down. They do manage to bring down the Shadow Fiend. Puck gets off that last hit. Still a one for one. S4 trying to get aggressive here. And will be forced back. One for one, Secret still finding trades. Even when they take something that isn't completely Dyer's in their favor, they still get something out of it. And, and again, up top, they're moving into tier two. Zai's about to pick up his Midas too, so he's just gonna accelerate his level gain and just through one of those tiers where there's no real big item that you have to get right off the bat. So getting a Midas and just securing your late game farm. With a seven minute time. Midas, he could still have an Orchid like at 15 yeah. minutes if this keeps up. He is crazy farm here. Have off some more. Oh, he's gonna be dead. Benji trying to juke, but gets hexed up. Oh, three here in pale as well. Sick place from Kuro. They kind of walked into that one, but even so, Kuro's still healthy. Funnick on the run. Can he actually survive this? Zai trying to chase him down. The finger's there to bring him down. The most left at the tower, but the Chen army is on its way. Oh, Zai almost finds the kill. If only there was a shockwave. The cooldown was available. That would have been a death. Also, the shockwave hit three heroes on top of the earth spike from Kuroki. This is a disaster for Navi. Dendi had to get that jaunt out, but level one phase shift and didn't have it. Only has level one silence as well, so the, like a silence on the line was not going to last very long. Look at this Arteezy. He's got something. That's a Yule's recipe, baby. The spirit bomb is real. And he can go any item this game. This oh, is <laughs> he can go, well, exactly. He can go any item, and he chooses the the the, the uh, what, what's the right word here, guys? The trendy, the cheesy, the rage right now. Yeah. The, Oh, I don't know. It's like the hot new thing. Yeah. 
you're in middle school, you see all the, the other cool kids with it, you're like, I want one of those. It is fun to watch the Spirit Bomb, you see the setup, and it's just that, oh, there's nothing you can do about that. It's very satisfying. Yeah, this is just a hot game for Nabi. They, they're playing 5v4, so it's, it's hard. Man. It's a tough life. This, 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 this what, what, what has Warlock done this game? He's, I mean, look at Dendi mid. He's stunned up. Puppies here. They're just going to keep the stuns going. An easy dunk for S. On top of us. Maybe he's going to go down as well. There's another nuke in three seconds. I can chase Fez. Can't worry about this one. What has Warlock done? Oh, down bop. Funnick and Arteezy going blow for blow. Arteezy with the Shadow Rays is another kill coming out for Secret. It's just not, it's not even about team fights. It's just little skirmishes around the map. Navi are just losing these 1v1s. Yeah, uh, I mean, for the Warlock pick, it didn't work out at all. The 2v2 lane that they had there, Funnick did not farm well against the Axe. He f hardly farmed at all. And then all Warlock could do was say, look, you better go fight. Nightstalker had to leave the lane to go fight, and then Warlock just sat there farming, leaching XP. Well, now he uses for this ultimate, rock. and... You know, he was leeching XP to get level 6 and then try and turn things around, and they're going to get a Lion kill. Uh, That's something, but it's... It feels Still like very little. An Omni Slash and a Chaotic yeah. Offering to get a support Lion. Meanwhile, you've got Arteezy farming in the bottom, you've got Axe farming in mid. That's that's a very Dying's minor gain across the slew of negatives on the... That's like the one moment not even waiting for. Okay, Warlock's level 6, he's got his rock now, Let, now let's do something. We've already passed the 1,000 gold per minute mark lead at the 10 minute mark. It's a 10,000 network lead for Secret. That is ridiculous. Smoke though, on the S4, he'll get the bounty rune before he dies at least, now silence, then yeah, no way Axe is going to survive this one despite having a vanguard. Up top now, Zai, thinking about making a move on Hibos, no, he's out of mana. I thought they were going to square up a little bit, so, alright, Navi actually get a good gank there, they get about 1400 net worth trade out of that. So, little pickoffs like that, before we get them back into this game, but now Dendi, hex on him, finger on the van score. Perfectly played by Kuroki. Knew the limits, knew Artur to get the kill on Puck, and they're doing it in style there. They ping out Go Black. They want this one, God. Blink forward. There's the stun. Artur sets it up with a Shadow Rage. Good night, sweet Go Black. 10 minute blink on Kuro. This guy is making plays happen left, right, and center from like the mana drain earlier in the top tier one. To that finger plus, he, the finger wasn't enough. He got the single right click Dyer's on the van, knowing that the, the Puck was dead at the same time. Like, it's like, okay, Puck's locked down, you've got that kill, I'm going for this other kill, and he just barely takes his hero to the limit to maximize the damage output. Yeah, uh, I mean, Secret just playing so tight, so crisp. Yeah, they're dominating over Na'Vi, but they're, they're doing it without Dyer's making any, really any noticeable mistakes fallen. here. This is... Very impressive play. Yeah. All right. Now the Necro book out on Broodmother. Zai ready to end this game sooner rather than later. Even Arteezy's blink is already up. They can have blink on the and the axe in second. Arteezy will do a center. Can they bring him down here? They don't have the ultimate from Puck. It's coming in just a couple seconds. He will almost channel the Requiem, but the swap is wrong. He wants to do the double pop. Can't do it. Dyer's He's got the double ulti off. That could have gotten really ugly, but now he can nothing. But Zai knocking on the front door up top. Looks like they will be able to rotate over before he does any serious damage. Two for nothing is good, though. Steps in the right direction. It's a 3,000 gold step in the right <laughs> direction. <laughs> but it's it's like 3,000 gold. You're, you're still Dyer's really far tower. behind. Well, that still doesn't have any items. Dyer's that's a crazy thing. Like you, it's, it's a two for nothing trade gets you a 3,000 gold swing. But it, it, yeah. If you're getting a 3,000 gold Dyer's swing, it means you're really far behind. It's still really far behind, considering it's 12 minutes in. Now it's four. He went Vanguard first, but he's got the Blink Dagger. 12 minutes for a Vanguard, Blink, Tranquils, even Axe. Feeling the benefits of all these tower kills. I mean, 12 minutes, there is one outer tower remaining for Navi. It is 5 to 1. That yeah, high ground sieging capabilities when Brood gets to Necro 2, Necro 3. They can have easy access to the Roshan pit as well with uh, Shadow Fiend and Brood, Brood Chen. Pretty nice Roshan item. All they're really waiting for is maybe the puppy mech to give them that and big spike capability. Wrong place at the wrong Time walks right into the brew, but will actually live. Now Omni Slash comes out. They get a solo pick on the brood. Maybe it was just bait all along. Okay. That was a big spiraling boost as well. That was a lot of gold for Denny. Good job. That gets getting Denny about 400 off his blink dagger. Okay. Navi showing a sign of life. Platinum gold lead at about 12,000. <laughs> at 12 minutes in. <laughs> uh, you try not to count Navi out too early, but this no. is a ridiculous lead. You definitely can't count him out, especially if mm, that was a little. Those last few kills a bit sloppy through secret. Perhaps I think Zai at this point, like his death like that, it's it takes three plus heroes or something. It takes at least two two big ultimates to kill him. So 
He's always just kind of creating space and death hero there. It's kind of the ice 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 thing where he dies, but he gets a lot of golden XP in the process and, and helps his team take objectives elsewhere. Right now, it's Roach. Yep. And it looks like it'll go down. Easy peasy. Nothing, nothing. He knew about it. It'll be our easy to grab the Aegis of the Immortal. Secret again with a very clear game plan. Yule's blink on the Shadow Fiend. And uh, just about back up to Max Souls. Navi, smoke rotation. They find Kuro. Dream Coil, silence. Enough to bring him down. Another solo pickoff. They're starting to get quite a few kills here, gods. Unfortunately, Secret is still just farming so effectively. It yeah. basically doesn't matter. Navi getting these kills where it takes three, four heroes and Secret still just spread out working the map, it ends up as kind of a break even in the yeah. end. It's like, yeah, you saw the two for nothing where it's like, oh, 3,000 gold swing as far as that fight went, but the farm, like the gold graph hasn't actually changed that much because Secret were farming in so many places. And the, the recaps only show the, 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 hero, the, kill. the hero kill gold changes. Yeah, so. exactly. No, it's not just about the hero kills here, and that's where Seeker are kind of hedging their bets on all fronts. Looking at item progression, Zai closing in on a Necro Book level 3. Puppy just about to have the mech. Looks like he's got it coming out on the courier. Now Arshi blows. So their items are looking good. That's three Blink Daggers now on their side. Dire-wise, uh, Dendi does have a Blink Dagger now of his own, and Hlose is starting to find a little bit of farm. Mask of Madness, Yasha, still not really online, but can at least do a little bit of chopping. Also level 11, so now Omni Slash a little more potent. Yeah, Havos is in good place. He's, he's done well this game. Considering the, the length he had and the inability they had of dealing with the brute all bank score, <laughs> surrounded by spider links, he's, yeah, he's gonna go easy. Dyer's bottom tower Smart is under there. attack. Scrum to break out up top, and that's the Omni Slash to break out the brute mother. Now the rest of the fight breaks out. Go Black gets hit by the Spirit Bomb, and they'll trade one for one here in different locations. So good news for Havos. It's a solo pickoff. They're going to swing now down, looking to maybe take this last out of tower. It's daytime, and this is not easy for Frank to stay alive. Yules could set things up, and here comes S4. Oh, there's the setup. No, no feed by S4 there with a call, and it should be a dunk. Yeah, there it is. TP in, and instant board back from Dendi. He does not want a piece of his axe right now. Yeah, all, all the secret calls in a, a good place, ready to fight. Dyer's Only the juggernaut keeping up on the Navi side, so. Yeah. Wow, actually very impressive farm on Avos, you're right. Especially given the state of this game. Yeah, but he's, he's not able to kill. He's got, not got a single assist, so when you're getting these big comeback kills, you're getting a big gold boost. But even so, like he, he's so farmed pretty well in the lane. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a top CS right now. He's got more CS than anyone. Even if he's even just by a couple, it's still, still impressive. When you, when you, when you don't have map control, you look at their vision right now, they have no outer towers, one ward down. There are not a lot of safe places for Havos to farm. Then you look at Radiant Vision. They've got wards all over the place. They've got one up here right outside of the base, a lane ward in mid. There. They're really feeling pretty good in terms of map control. Uh oh, here we go up top. Zai and Havos going to square up. And with that, Havos just says, All right, I'm just going to TP out of here. Yeah. I don't want any part of this. Brute's a bit scary because if you get the Necrobook out and instant mana burn Havos, if he doesn't have mana for the, the Blade Fury or the TP out, he's, he's just done for. So. Even the Dire Ancients, they've got a ward on the high ground outside of Roche, a ward outside of the Secret Shop on the high ground. If anybody on Navi try to go for the Ancients, it's just it's a trap ready and waiting. And that's where, like, Puck and Night Stalker are not good farmers to begin with. They can't flash from jungle. They almost just have to kind of rely on kills at this point. So for Na'Vi, they need to just hope they can find pickoffs in some place, anywhere at the ma on the map right now. Maybe looking for another smoke gank soon. They have got the chaotic offering for Go Black. Speaking of which, he's put out the Spirit Bomb, one hit KO. Now down bottom, another fight will break out. The votes. He'll get turned into a little bit but Corona. Nice stun on two TP's coming in. Bigger on the most S4 with the Berserker's call on Bench. So he's taking tower shot. It'll be Havos trying to run for it. They get the kill on Bench. No surprise on that one. Can Havos make it out, though? There's a blink on the SS. Whoa, they miss all the spells. Cute little spot there from Havos. It'll actually yeah. ensure his survival. I don't think they realize he Quelling Bladed through. They just thought he was hiding in the tree patch. So really nice little play there. Radiant's Top lane, though, being pressured. Brood doing brood things. Yep, Dyer's forces out of glyph. Dendi oh, unable to finish off all those spiderlings. Does a lot of damage. That will be enough to repel good old Zai here on the Broodmother. But even just forcing out the glyph at this stage in the game is actually pretty important. Now, Secret, if they catch an opening, they can look towards the high ground yep. if they're so inclined and just kind of burst down a structure. Yeah, this is 
looking, this is looking rough. The Aegis is about to expire, I guess, which is the, the partially good news, but SF has an Eagle Song, and I wonder if this is even like an E-Blade type build. I feel like Butterfly is is good, of course. Uh, the Evasion's nice, but I feel like you could even, with the with all the range damage that he's doing right now, his, his damage output is largely magical, so an E-Blade could this maybe be even better than going for the Butterfly. Is it? Is it possible to do the Spirit Bomb thing with an E-Blade? Can you, like, no. E-Blade them in time to do it? No, I don't think you, so. It has to be, like, instantaneous. The right? E-Blade is more, like, for your raises Just and for stuff. the raises. And yeah. also just to can help deal with the Omni Slash as a defensive tool, but you need E-Blade raises. I think it'll be a butterfly, even though they're really far ahead. I mean, it, either item will, you know, yeah. be okay. You can kind of do what he wants, but the butterfly is just, what, what do they have against that? There's no MPB on the horizon, no Hex. It makes it... Pretty damn close to Immortal, to be honest. That's a huge jump in the EHP. And the secret just stealing dire ancient stack. Why not? <laughs> no, <laughs> What's exactly. going to stop them? Yeah. It's more, again, a comment to secret just that they control the map so well. They farm their side. You've got Zai in the dire jungle. You've got Puffy in the radiant jungle. You've got S4 who's just stealing the enemy's ancients. There's nowhere for Nafi to farm in this game. Yeah. They, they kind of just send one or two heroes to a lane, well, one hero to a lane to farm, they just, there's so much, just pick off potential on the secret side. Not many of the heroes can deal with Brood, so they're just constantly letting Brood control the entire dire jungle plus top lane. When the Brood gets close to the tower, that's when Na'Vi's like, okay, let's at least send a few heroes now to clear out the, the, the spider links. But when Brood's just in this creep wave up in the top lane, they're worried about Brood having like an axe sing behind with a blink dagger ready, a Kuro, even just Kuro on the line. If he's there with a blink hex impale type type play, Navi dies. So they can't even move, deal with the Brood except at the base. Like Brood's not going to just walk up to this top lane, get a tower and Rax anytime soon, unless Navi lose a bad fight, but they can't gank the Brood in any fashion. Or at least if they do it, it's rolling the dice. They can't do it and have a pretty definitive game. So... The most beats an S and Y. He's ta running. tanking up a little. Yeah. Navi is just running out of options here. And D ward the, uh, the cliff here at the top, which is handy, but. Okay. That's something, I guess. A little bit of vision control. Secret R actually all grouped up here. They've got four heroes inbound. RTZ clearing out some ancients, meanwhile. And coming out on the courier, it is the butterfly. So no E blade today, guys. Yeah, the initiation comes out. Vance is going to be the first to go down. S4 showing off on BC. Chaotic offering flies through the gifts. The kill on Lion is Denny. Gets very aggressive. Now Mommy's got to bounce around all the Chen creeps. Does next to nothing. And now Bo stunned up by the Centaur army. Locked in place. Can they actually find the kill with upheaval doing some serious work? Nice play from Go Black, but now RTZ thinking about a Spear Bomb type play. Nope, just a Yule's. Looks for some Shadow Rage. He's still holding on to that Requiem for now. He's gonna find Go Black. Zerker's call is there. Dumped to find the kill. It will be a two for one. But that's all Zerker needs to look towards the high ground. And that clip is going full down from Zion. Pushing antics earlier. Tier 3 gets melted. And now Baron is slow. Now Dead comes in. Wave Drift or back. Funnick trying to get manly here. He's got a BKB. Now just fight right through it. The right clips are enough. He's dead. Still a 43 on the field. Barracks go down and now Secret thinking about making an exodus. Where are they? Trying to get aggressive, but again, they just fan up and throw out the right clicks. S4 still alive, but just barely gets the dunk on fan score before they bring him down. Juggernaut ends the streak, gets a little bit of bonus gold. So now he gets a little bit out of this, but you can't even call it a hold here, gods. Just the range racks are standing. Uh, this is this is not good at all for Navi. Losing their base and getting a, a kill here or there, but then you now uh oh, down he goes. Yeah. Puppy is just so damn good with these set cards. He's got him in the right place at the right time, and if you're caught without a phase shift, without a blade fury, you better believe he's got some chain stuns coming your way. Yeah, and, and Puck's still just only level 3 phase shift, so he can't use that phase guaranteed to play out. Bottom tower oh, level 13, so, so rough for Debbie. Uh, for, for Secret, they're just, this game's in their hands now. Uh, it, would, it would take, it, it, essentially it's, it's Secret's game to lose. There's, there's uh -oh. nothing Navi can do there. Base defense, like Night Stalker is just not a com comeback from behind kind of hero. Juggernaut just is, can't really fight into it. The Chen Creep we saw just tanks up the whole Omni Slash, so even Trying to fight it, even if you clear the the main creep wave, these tanky Chen creeps just Dyer's say hello. Omni Slash, what, 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 what did it do? It didn't yeah, next to no it damage. Did, it, it got a centaur to about half health, and then Chen used his hand Dyer's of God, and everything he achieved from that was completely mitigated. Yeah. Your uh, your axe, if he's in the front lines, has 
the call as well to boost up his armor to tank it up. So yeah. and that's one of the cool Bottom things about Shen against the Juggernaut. Attack. If you can split the Omni Slash around all those heroes, the ultimate from Shen literally counters it completely fortified. because it spreads the damage around. It's pretty potent. Now as four, ooh, ooh, he's gonna be caught out in the jungle. Bonnet uses the BKB, goes in, hits him with a void, throws out the crippling fear. But there's some support inbound. There's support here from on the other side. Spirit Bomb on the go black. Not gonna be the one hit KO, but RQ is still doing a lot of damage. They find the kill there. Van score will be in some trouble. Juggernaut does get the kill on Chen. And now maybe they can clean it up. They're going to meet Rax meanwhile, by the way. Oh, God. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Zai's just in the base. Dead the MTP back. And only we should be talking about S4. He gets stunned up. Trying to turn it around. No. He's going to go down. But like you said, it doesn't really matter. In the mid, they give the finger to the Pucks. Lion finds the kill there. And now they get the melee barracks. Not worth it for Navi. They have to just throw so much even to find like a kill hero there. They, they can even axe eventually once his BKBs one off, but they're facing tatters now. The boss gonna die once more. He has to get the buyback, but he'll use it. It's, does it matter? Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Does not seem like it really matters all too much at this point. One lane of barracks still standing. Secret will back out for now. Zai moving into Dagon. So Dagon level two. All right. I like this. this is, in first damage at this point, it's you, you can just take it around the target. Especially when you're pushing, it's really nice because you don't even have to kill the target with a Dagon move plus Spawn Spider. It just forces them back to the banner. They have to go back. They can't defend. Opens up to take that final lane of Rax. And while that last Rax is going to be so easy with an agency hand. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. 27 to 13. Secret still holding on to this. Yeah, 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 and yeah, another Aegis onto Artor. He'll just go into a Satanic, has the HOD now, and recipe already purchased, just needs a little bit more. Grab that Reaver. It's all over, I gotta say, Andrew. I don't think there's any uh, any turning this one around. I think not, even if Secret do something really clowny, dive the base, dive the Firebush, doesn't it really make a difference? They can force you a couple of times. Even now, the Agon and Scepter up on Puppy. Look at this farm, 25 minutes, arcane boots, mech, and eggs. Something to choose between as well. He's already heading over, so probably going for the golem. Although the little thunder hides are pretty cute. <laughs> At this point, you can probably just choose based on which is the cutest. Like, ah! <laughs> pick you. The slam movement speed slow is not that bad. Uh, I mean, I don't know. The, the thunder hides are a little lackluster. It's but. like it's 270 movement speed. <laughs> you can't Dyer's even like get into the wild. They're just attack. so bloody slow. It's like you yeah. have to burn one of your creeps on the stupid uh, stupid cobalt guy that gives you the speed aura just so your creeps move at like an okay rate. They're still dreadfully slow, but at least it's somewhat manageable. Easy now. Butterfly Satanic. Just saying. he was pretty invulnerable before, but oh, Zai walks into a sentry, but it expires right as fan score swaps. Attack. It just keeps getting worse for Navi. Yeah. All right, down block. Is this the final push here, gods? The final fight for Navi. Can they make the whole oh, chaotic offer? He gets started. Then he goes for Arteezy. But what's the follow up here? Arteezy, they will go down. Remember, he is scared. He's never sticking to the up. He will get the ultimate. He also flies through. And four Navi gets a lot of damage. The first class comes out. But Arteezy lifts through it with the year. A lot of damage, still no kills onto the dire. Finally, fun and fall. Secret moving close to the well. Go black gets into a little fish. Van score takes the finger. Now the earth flies on the go black. Buy back from acts of all heroes. As for he's sad watching his team get all the kills. He wants some of the action too. Unfortunately for him, not gonna be able to make it back in time. Does not have the OT. And uh, that'll be it. GG from Navi and Secret take another dominant win. And, yeah, two very one-sided games. Big God as well as Navi, two of these opponents you wouldn't consider like the top top three contenders necessarily coming no. in, but still very teams that can always battle it out with the T1 teams. Navi in the past, yeah. especially Big God, just based on their lineup and the players who are there. So, mm -hmm. I it's still a good start for Secret. They've definitely not had a tough day one. Like maybe you look at some other team like EG, but hey, it's it's a good start. This is this team's roster first appearance in any uh, official tournament.